this video, let's talk about how to attach raster aerial imagery that is a geo has geolocated, geotiff, a PNG, as long as it has georeferenced information, usually in the way of a world file. If you know the coordinate system, which hopefully it's in the same coordinate system as what you're working in, you do not have to worry about transforming it. If you do have to transform the data, that makes things a little bit more complicated. We're going to assume that for this video, that the image, geolook, geo coordinate system, and your drawing coordinate system are the same. So with all that being said, first thing I'm going to do is ensure that I have coordinate system set in my drawing. So I'm gonna go over here and right click, and I have my coordinate system set. <clears throat> now here's the tricky part. There is a, known issue where if you are trying to attach an image that has a world file if the total path length to those attachments is greater than 128 characters civil 3d or autocad will ignore the world file what does that mean so i'm going to type map i insert to insert an image i insert and i'm going to navigate to that image we were just talking about, which we saw has an associated world file. When I hit open, the image correlation will pop up. It shows the image. Everything's great, you would think. But look here. Our insertion coordinates information is all zero. That is my first indicator. It is not seeing the world file. And this thing is inserting out in no man's land here. So it is not working. So I'm going to cancel. The way to fix this, you have two options. You can install AutoCAD Raster Design, which is included with AutoCAD and AEC packages. And if you did that, there is no limitation to 128 characters. That's the easiest. If you do not have that option, you need to copy the images and the world file to some folder location that has a shorter file path. In my case, I have copied it to a file on my hard drive. And now that they're on my hard drive, I have two options, main options for inserting it. You can use the map I insert command, map, image, insert. Navigate to that location. I put it on my desktop just for uh, ease of access in here. So somewhere in here is an image. Here it is. I hit open and you can see it sees a coordinate system and it has a world file. Leave everything else along and hit OK. I'll zoom extents. <coughs> and here is our file. I will come over here and turn on my background imagery just to be certain and I can tell it is where it needs to be. So I am good to go. It is here. That is one way of attaching it. I will select this object and delete it. I guess I want to remove it. Open up our XREF manager, make sure it's gone, and it is. The second way of attaching it, which matter debate whether this is better or not, it actually does seem to operate a little faster, is attaching it as a data connection. So we were going to open up our map W space here, task pane, and we're going to go to data make a data connection of a raster image. I need to remove this one. Raster image. I'm just going to call it ortho. Choose that file that we just moved. It's the same one with a short file path. Keep that in mind. Connect. If you do that, you will see that it's here and it does not know the coordinate system. So I'm going to double click here. Double click here. I'm going to type in the coordinate system that I know it is in and choose it. Hit select. OK. And add to map. Close the dialog box once it's done doing its thing. You can see it popped up there under my screen. Now, you see how it is thinking every time I zoom in? Let's see if I can get it to do it again. And it disappears as I pan. 
that's what makes data connections a little bit more powerful, depending on the resolution of your photo. Because it's not trying to render the entire object or keep the entire object in memory at the same time. So you're able to pan around and it's re-rendering and rebuilding pyramids depending on your zoom level. So it just depends on what you're doing and the resolution, which connection. I typically use the map I insert um, for, for it. But the quick answer is that you don't have to copy it locally. Get Raster Designer installed and that'll solve all of your problems. That's it for this video of attaching geo-referenced images using the map I insert and the data connections. If you found this useful, cl please click the like button. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content and hit the notification button if you want to be informed when I post more information and videos.